Welcome to today's vlog. So on the vlog, what we're gonna focus on today is this haircut right here. This is Robert Pattinson. I'm guessing it's his latest haircut. It's in GQ magazine. So what I wanna do is recreate that look for you guys. So right here is my version of the cut. Here is his version of the cut. So this haircut, like some of the others I've been posting lately, is moving away from the tight fade and moving into a more textured look. So a couple key things I like about this haircut. I love how uh, it's not super tight around the edge. Then it moves into this disconnection and has a ton of texture on the top. So those are the techniques we're gonna work on today. Hope you guys like the video. Please let me know in the comments. Also, if you're on Facebook watching this video, make sure you share this video in one of your favorite hairdresser groups. I'd love for you to help me spread the word of freesaloneducation.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. Here we go. All right, guys, so the way that we're gonna start off this video is I'm gonna brush the mannequin back. Um, because this mannequin already has a medium length hair, I'm gonna section it off. But if you have a guest in the salon that you're uh, creating this haircut on and his hair is not quite as long, you don't have to section it this way. Just know that your guideline is kind of the parietal ridge back to the crown, like a mid-crown area, and then back around, creating a horseshoe section on top of the head. That's gonna be our disconnect. Um, the thing that makes this video or this haircut unique, I think, uh, and what kind of drew my eye to it was the disconnection that it had, but it wasn't extreme. So what I want to do is I'm going to start off going through using my Andis ZR Clipper. I love this clipper because it's the most powerful battery uh, operated clipper that I've found uh, out there. And this is not sponsoring this video or anything. It's just uh, a clipper that I really enjoy using. I'm using the triple zero blade. It has the metal detachable blades. And then I'm going through, I'm using my YS Park 282. It's a brand new comb that we have on freesaloneducation.com. Uh, the thing I like about this comb is it's flat, it's thick. So it fits the clipper really nice and the clipper slides over it really nice. So I get a lot of questions about clipper over comb technique um, because some salons don't allow uh, clipper guards. So if you're in that situation, um, using this comb is great because it gives you a lot of freedom. It's really quick and easy. You'll notice that I hold that comb at about a 45 degree angle uh, every time I cut. That gives me a little bit of a graduated line as I work my way up and I just slightly remove that until I get the my preferred length. Um, so then once I get each side cut, I let the top down. So this is a pretty easy, quick haircut. Um, the other thing about it, when I look at it in the front of the magazine, it's not tight on the sides. So it's just a quick little cleanup around the edges. And then you go through and you create your disconnect. So when I let the top down, what I'm gonna do is take a complete center parting. Um, then I'm gonna go through and do some point cutting. And I'm gonna follow the round of the head. The other thing I noticed about this haircut when I looked at it in the front of the magazine, it has more of a rounded shape to the layering. Uh, they follow the head shape uh, quite a bit. So it's very typical when you think about the 90 degree haircut that you learn in beauty school. It's just following that head shape up and around. But I'm using the point cutting technique to create that texture. I'm also gonna use another type of technique with a razor a little bit later, which will create even more texture. But notice how I cut the layering and then I shift up to the center and then I cut more just to round that uh, layer off. Also, I want to show you there, that's the disconnect. So I'm not connecting to the sides. That's what makes this haircut unique. So don't go in and cut um, and blend that if you're trying to create this look. So I work my way all the way up the head shape. You also notice I take diagonal back partings. Um, that's just really for me to, to go through and follow the head shape. And those of you out there that are upset that I'm wearing black clothes, that happens often. I'm trying my best to get out of the way of the technique because I have a black jacket on, but you'll never see me wear a white jacket. So it's just the way it is. But I'm working my way around the head shape, um, point cutting all the way up to the top. And I'm just working on that one half. So this is the right hand side of the head. Then we're going to go through and work on the left hand side. So same thing around. There's a little bit of over direction at the forehead there. So you'll notice that the forehead hair gets a little bit longer. That's okay. I'm going to cut that a little shorter later, but I don't mind leaving that extra length to blow it dry a little bit and see where I'm at. Same thing here in the crown, working that round of the head point cutting technique so I don't build up too strong lines. If you had somebody with a finer density of hair, um, lighter density, you could go in and do more of a blunt cut. It might kind of add a little bit more bulk to it. But because this is a little bit thicker hair, I go in, or if they had wavy hair, uh, going in and doing point cutting really just softens it a little bit more. So just continuing around the head shape, basically taking pie shaped sections around the corner and then moving into vertical partings uh, through from 
basically the midpoint of the head to the front forehead area. I'm going to adjust my angle here in a second, but really just showing you that I'm wrapping around the head shape. I think that that's the key thing. And you're going to see me move out of the way because I have black clothes on. But uh, see my finger angle, how it's straight up and down, but it's still not connecting to the bottom side. And then I shift up and I connect the two sides together. So that's basically creating that rounded shape on the top of the head. So same thing in the very front. Only difference in the very front that happens is that I'm over directing the hair just a slight bit more because the head starts to curve forward. So you can see a little bit of that extra length. Now I'm going to go through, this is my carving comb wide. It's got two different cutting sides. One cuts 50% of the hair, one cuts 100% of the hair. So a, a cool trick with that is to go across, just take your section up and swipe the razor back and forth. And what that does is it just creates a really cool texture uh, in the haircut. So you can remove length if you want to, like I take a little extra length off the front uh, with this uh, tool, but for the most part, I'm just going through and creating that texture uh, with the tool. So it's really cool. Uh, it works on longer hair as well. Anytime you want to do some point cutting, you can grab this tool and, and use it that way. Uh, if you want to see more information on that, go to freesaloneducation.com and just look up the Donald Scott carving comb. You'll see a fine version and a wide tooth version. So I'm going to go in with Mitch Steady Grip. I like to use a gel base um, for the start of my blow dry. A lot of guys don't think about doing that. Um, they, just, they don't even think about blow drying their hair, but it's such a key thing in getting the perfect style. So I've got my Minerva blow dryer. It's a brand new blow dryer that they just sent me. Uh, so check those out on MinervaBeauty.com. But I'm using the blow dryer to push um, the hair up. So basically, if you want your hair to stay up all day, use a blow dryer and use that heat to form the hair up into the air. And then I go in with Mitch Reformer and that creates my textured style. So a lot of guys try to create that style on their wet hair, but as soon as you put a uh, product into wet hair, it dilutes the product and you don't get the end result you're looking for. This is the end result that we were going for. I hope you guys like it. That nice disconnection um, texture on the top. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, like always, if you like this haircut, then hit the like button, hit the share button, share this video with all of your friends, and make sure you subscribe to this channel because I got videos coming out all of the time. Also, remember, if you want to purchase any of the tools that you saw in this video, go to freesaloneducation.com. You can purchase those tools and add them to your collection. Thank you guys so much for the support. I'll see you guys on the next video.